Have you ever wondered how the human body processes that glass of wine, beer, or any other alcoholic beverage? Well, it's no simple feat, and it's all thanks to an intricate process we call ethanol metabolism. Now the term ethanol metabolism might sound like a mouthful, but don't fret. It's really just a fancy way of saying how our bodies break down alcohol. But that's not to say it's a simple process. Quite the contrary. Ethanol metabolism is a complex, multi-step process that involves several organs and a slew of enzymes, each playing a critical role. The first thing to understand is that ethanol, the type of alcohol found in your favorite beverages, is a toxin. That's right, a toxin. Our bodies don't exactly love it, but they're pretty good at handling it, and that's where ethanol metabolism comes in. This process is essentially our body's way of dealing with the alcohol we consume, breaking it down into less harmful substances that can be easily eliminated. It's a bit like a well-oiled assembly line, with each stage of the process preparing the ethanol for the next until it's finally ready to be expelled from our bodies. There are three major steps in this assembly line of ethanol metabolism. The first is alcohol dehydrogenase, followed by acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, and finally, aldehyde dehydrogenase. Each of these steps involves specific enzymes that aid in breaking down the ethanol, making it less harmful for our bodies. The alcohol dehydrogenase stage is where the ethanol starts its journey, being converted into a substance called acetaldehyde. From there, acetaldehyde dehydrogenase steps in to convert the acetaldehyde into acetate. And lastly, aldehyde dehydrogenase helps convert the acetate into carbon dioxide and water, two substances our bodies can easily eliminate. So, there you have it a quick overview of the fascinating process of ethanol metabolism. But don't go anywhere just yet. Stick around as we delve deeper into these stages and unravel the marvel that is ethanol metabolism. Scene script. Imagine this. You're sipping your favorite alcoholic beverage. What happens next inside your body? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of biochemistry to find out. Your body, being the highly efficient machine it is, immediately gets to work. As soon as that first drop of alcohol hits your system, the first line of defense springs into action. Meet alcohol dehydrogenase, the enzyme that kicks off the process of ethanol metabolism. Alcohol dehydrogenase, or ADH for short, is a superstar in the liver and stomach. Its primary role is to convert alcohol, or more scientifically, ethanol, into a substance known as acetaldehyde. Picture ADH as a biochemical transformer, turning the potentially harmful ethanol into something your body can handle. But how does this transformation occur? It's all about a process known as oxidation. In this process, ADH removes a pair of hydrogen atoms from the ethanol molecule. This action transforms the ethanol into acetaldehyde. Now acetaldehyde might sound like a villain from a comic book, but it's just another compound in the grand scheme of metabolism. It's a volatile compound, true, but it's a necessary intermediate in the process of breaking down alcohol. The presence of ADH in the stomach and liver is crucial for this process. Its location in these organs allows it to act swiftly, preventing a buildup of toxic alcohol levels in the bloodstream. It's like having a built-in detox system, working tirelessly to keep you safe from the potential harm of alcohol. This process, while seemingly simple, is a testament to the intricate and wonderfully complex operations happening within our bodies every single moment. The role of alcohol dehydrogenase is just one piece of the puzzle but it sets the stage for the subsequent steps in the metabolism of alcohol. And that, folks, is just the first step. But what happens to the acetaldehyde produced? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the intricate process of ethanol metabolism. Scene script. Acetaldehyde, the product of the first stage, is highly toxic. So how does the body handle it? Enter acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, the unsung hero of our story. This enzyme steps onto the scene to tackle the villainous acetaldehyde converting it into a far less harmful substance, acetic acid. It's a bit like a superhero transforming a dangerous foe into a harmless kitten. This critical transformation takes place primarily in the liver, the body's chemical processing plant. Acetaldehyde dehydrogenase is found in abundance here, ready and waiting to neutralize the toxic acetaldehyde produced from ethanol metabolism. But here's where things get interesting. The activity of acetaldehyde dehydrogenase can actually vary among individuals, it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of deal. Picture this. Two people walk into a bar. They both order the same drink, but one person might feel the effects of alcohol more strongly than the other. Why? It all comes down to their individual levels of acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. Some people have a version of the enzyme that works super efficiently, breaking down acetaldehyde at lightning speed. 
these lucky folks can often drink more without feeling the effects as strongly. On the other hand, some people have a less efficient version of the enzyme, leading to a buildup of acetaldehyde in their system. This can result in unpleasant symptoms like flushing, nausea, and rapid heartbeat, effectively making them more sensitive to alcohol. So while it might seem like a simple case of, the more you drink, the drunker you get, there's actually a whole biochemical dance happening behind the scenes. The interaction between ethanol, acetaldehyde and acetaldehyde dehydrogenase plays a crucial role in determining how our bodies respond to alcohol. But don't uncork that bottle of champagne just yet. While acetaldehyde dehydrogenase does an admirable job of detoxifying acetaldehyde, it's not the end of the line for ethanol metabolism. We're not done yet. There's still one more step to complete the process. So, we have acetic acid, but how does the body get rid of it? This is where the final act in our ethanol metabolism drama unfolds, the aldehyde dehydrogenase stage. Aldehyde dehydrogenase, or ALDH for short, is a group of enzymes that play a vital role in the metabolism of acetic acid. They do their magic by converting acetic acid into carbon dioxide and water. Two substances that our body can easily eliminate. Imagine a stage magician waving a wand and turning one object into something completely different. That's what ALDH does. The seemingly innocuous acetic acid, a byproduct of ethanol metabolism, is transformed into carbon dioxide and water, almost as if by magic. Now why is this important? Well remember the villain of our story, alcohol toxicity? Without ALDH, acetic acid would build up in the body, creating a toxic environment. This could lead to a number of health issues including liver damage, heart disease, and even neurological problems. Not exactly a happy ending, right? But thanks to ALDH, we can avoid this grim finale. By converting acetic acid into carbon dioxide and water, it ensures that the potentially harmful byproduct of ethanol metabolism is effectively eliminated from our bodies. It's like a hero swooping in at the last moment to save the day, making sure that the villain is defeated and peace is restored. In this case, the hero is ALDH, the villain is alcohol toxicity, and the peace is the normal functioning of our bodies. So, while it may seem like a simple chemical reaction, the role of ALDH in ethanol metabolism is crucial. It's the final piece of the puzzle that enables our bodies to process and eliminate alcohol efficiently and safely. And with that, we have successfully metabolized ethanol. But what are the key takeaways from this process? Let's summarize and bring it all together in our next scene. After journeying through the intricate process of ethanol metabolism, what should we remember? Our journey began with alcohol dehydrogenase, the first step in ethanol metabolism. This enzyme converts ethanol into acetaldehyde, a toxic compound that's associated with many of the unpleasant effects of alcohol consumption, like headaches and nausea. Next, we moved on to acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, the second stage. This enzyme steps up to the plate, converting the harmful acetaldehyde into acetate. Acetate is a much less toxic substance and is further broken down into water and carbon dioxide, which can be easily eliminated from the body. The final stage of this process involves aldehyde dehydrogenase. This enzyme is responsible for the rapid conversion of acetaldehyde into acetate. It plays a crucial role in protecting our bodies from the toxic effects of acetaldehyde. Now why are these stages so important? Well, they help us understand why different people have different tolerances to alcohol. Individual differences in enzyme activity can significantly affect how people respond to alcohol. For instance, some people have a version of the alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme that works more quickly, leading to a rapid buildup of acetaldehyde, and consequently, a lower tolerance for alcohol. On the other hand, some individuals have a slower-acting version of this enzyme, resulting in a higher tolerance. Moreover, understanding ethanol metabolism is crucial for our health. Chronic heavy drinking can overwhelm these metabolic pathways, leading to the accumulation of acetaldehyde, which can cause damage to the liver and other organs. So, as we reflect on these key points of ethanol metabolism, we can see that it's not just about how much you drink, but also about how your body processes alcohol. It's a complex interplay between biochemistry and genetics that determines our body's response to alcohol. And that, my friends, is the fascinating world of ethanol metabolism. Remember understanding is the first step towards responsible consumption.